All right, so let's learn how to draw some magnetic field lines. So we have the north end right here and the south end right there. What we're going to do, we're going to draw from north to south, okay? So I'll just zoom in here. I'm going to go north like this, up around here to the south end like that, okay? And then we'll draw an arrow like this, just showing that we're going north to south, okay? So make sure you always draw that arrow. If you don't draw the arrow, your teacher might not think you know the proper direction. Actually, I'll fix this one. Yes, yeah, so up like this and then around there like that. There we go. Then we'll draw a few more. So we'll draw one more like this. There we go. And then it's very important that every time you draw a line here, you want it to be a little bit further away from the magnet. Okay, and I'll explain more about what that means in a second. And then last one, we're going to do a really big one up around here like this, just to kind of exaggerate my point, which I'll be talking about in a second here, like this. And then of course, I'm going to add in all my lines. Okay. So lines coming in like this, they're all coming into the South. Okay. So the reason why I tell you to have the lines further and further apart is because the way the way the strength of the field or the way the strength of the magnetic force is calculated is with how many field lines there are in that area. Okay. So like right here, for example, the magnetic field is very strong, right? Because there's a lot of field line field lines, but like in this area over here, there's, there's not as much field lines, right? So it's not as strong. So the reason why you want them to be further and further apart, what I mean by that is that like this from up there is a lot larger compared to like this from right there, right? Or compared to that to right there. So it's getting further and further apart each time, which means the concentration of lines are is getting smaller and smaller, right? There's less and less lines in the same amount of space. So you want to make sure that you're, you're making that very obvious when you're drawing your lines, okay? So the closer you are to the magnet, the, the higher the concentration of lines are, okay? I'll talk about that more later, but it's very important that you're doing that because if you don't do that, your teacher may think that that you think that like the, the lines are uniform no matter where you go, okay, which isn't true. So you have to make sure they're getting further and further spaced apart and they're not uniformly spaced. Okay, so it's very important you do that. Let's look at what the next magnet looks like. Okay, so I got the next one here. So for this one, there's two magnets and they're facing in opposite directions, okay? So north is facing north here, right? Remember, we want to go north to south. So we're not going to go like this because that'll be north to north. So we don't want to have like charges um, close to each other, okay? Like magnetism close to each other. So we're going to do north to south like this, just like before. And basically, we're doing the exact same thing. We just have to make sure. It's actually here. Let me draw the arrows. We just have to make sure that our lines never cross, okay? So for example, we can't go like this. You can't go like that because then the lines will be crossing, okay? So lines cannot cross. So we'll do the same thing again here like this. And again, remember, the further away from the magnet, the less lines there should be, right? So see how right here, there's a bigger gap between the line compared to right there. So that means that in this area over here, the magnetic field is weaker, okay? And then we'll do the same thing over here. Like this, there we go. And then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other one. So I'll just skip ahead to that. Okay, and this is what it should look like at the end here. So we can see these lines right here do not cross each other, right? We can actually probably do one more kind of coming up like this, but again, they're not gonna cross like that, okay? So this one is never gonna go to that one because then the lines will be crossing, okay? So yeah, you're gonna go like this and then this one would come up and then would reconnect over here, okay? Anyways, this is what the two bar magnet looks like. I'll have another one in just a sec, so I'll just skip right ahead. All right, and then we got the last one here. So this is two magnets, but they're facing in the same direction. So I'll start off here by bringing north to south like this, uh, just like how you would think you'd have to do it like that. There we go. And then for this one, it's a little bit different because now this north and this south are now going to be connected to each other. Okay. So unlike the last one where they weren't where they weren't touching, they're going to be connected now. Okay. So I'll just finish doing these ones like this. There we go. You could probably do like one more if you wanted to. And then I'm going to connect the rest of them. Okay. So this one is going to be connected to this one, just like we had on the very first one. 
and now it's getting a little bit cramped in there. Yeah, it's a little bit cramped, but there we go. There we go. And now we finally have to do the very last one here, okay? So this north is also going to be connected to the mole, okay? So this north is going to be like this, connecting like that. North, connecting like that. And then it's also going to be connected to this south one all the way over here, okay? So again, since it's far away, we have to make sure that... Um, sorry, since it's weak, we have to make sure that it's far away from the magnet. And then this is what it should look like there. Like that, okay? All right, I'll just skip ahead to what it should look like at the very end. All right, so I kind of fixed it up a little bit, and we can see here the further away from the magnet the lines are, the less lines there are in that area, okay? So for example, over here, there's less lines in that area. See how big the separation is between the lines compared to like right here, for example, right? Which is a lot smaller. So the further away from the magnet, the further the separation between all the different lines are because the magnetic field is, is weaker. So therefore there's less lines. I've already talked about, it, about that a couple times. And then the next thing is that make sure that none of the lines are crossing, right? So we can see here, none of the lines are crossing, which is very important, okay? So those are the two important things, okay? So the further away from the magnet, the further the lines are separated. And then two, the, mags, the, the lines aren't crossing. And then actually, finally, the last thing is that you're going from north to south, right? Not south to north. So make sure you always have that arrow there to, to show what direction you're pointed in, okay? All right, that's all.